。好，二零一七年嘅第四条题目咧就系讲细胞嘅。咁你見到呢一幅啦，電子顯微鏡嘅圖像啦，就顯示咗一個人類細胞同埋入面嘅細胞器啦。咁啊，有 A 結構同埋 B 結構。咁就算冇 part A 呢，之前兩上都成日教大家㗎啦，有返一個好習慣，唔問你個結構名，都問你結構嘅功能㗎啦。所以名呢，都冇得走雞㗎啦。咁所以咧呢條題目咧就係考返我哋對於個細胞器個 organelles 究竟佢哋個形狀啊。大細啊、位置啊，就幫我哋判別返究竟佢哋係乜嘢啦。A 呢個結構呢，其實就係一個網絡嘅結構，啲膜嘅結構呢，所去易組成嘅。而呢個膜呢，其實就係由我哋嘅細胞核嘅核膜呢嘅外膜去延伸出嚟，引申去到我哋嘅細胞質嗰處嘅，就係、是、一個圓球體嘅結構啦，就係、是、由一個雙膜呢。去包住嘅 double membrane， 亦即係我哋嘅核膜 nuclear membrane 啦。咁所以 A 呢，其實就係內質膜 endoplasmic reticulum， 而 B 呢，就係細胞核啦。呢個題目呢，我有樣嘢想提下大家嘅，就係而喺個核膜嗰處呢，其實有啲窿窿嘅。咁下次可能題目就問你囉，啊呢、這個窿窿呢，其實有咩用呢？咁其實啦，呢、這個窿呢，就俾某一啲嘅物質去穿過。例如咩物質呢？例如我哋嘅信使 RNA、messenger RNA， 又或者呢條題目啦，有冇另一啲變奏啊？咪問下 C 同埋 D 咯，係嘛？呢、這個叫 A B 啫，呢啲咪叫 C D 咯。咁 C 啦，就係單丁一個嘅粒線體，咁自不然啊，就係 m i t o c h o n d r i a on 啊 ，I O N 啊，就唔係 m i t o c h o n d r i a R 咯，因為佢冇可能係眾數啊嘛，係咪一個啫嘛？跟住 D 啦，就係我哋嘅基因遺傳物質啦。咁呢個狀態嘅話啦，佢應該叫咩名呢？今次题目冇问你㗎，因为佢喺 Part B 嗰度问你啦。佢就考返我哋呢，呢幅图像显示嘅細胞，佢係喺个細胞周期嘅边个階段呢？然后解释你嘅答案啦。咁其实呢条题目就係考返我哋对于呢个遗传物质嘅形态个状态，係显示咗个細胞係喺边一个階段啦。咁我哋发现啦，实在呢，你见唔到一条条嘅染色体，你见到嘅呢係染色质嚟嘅。嗰啲染色體係仲未見到嘅，所以答案呢就一定係間期 interface 因為 DNA 係以染色質嘅形態所出現，又或者啦染色體係仍然未能夠見得到啦。跟住去到 p a s s 啦，佢就講呢個細胞呢係由胰臟嗰樹去抽取出嚟嘅。咁究竟而家結構 A 同埋結構 B 啦，佢哋係點樣一齊工作即係、就是、合作啦？可以令到呢個細胞做到佢應有嘅功能呢？其實呢條題目啦，就係考緊我哋三樣嘢嘅啫：胰臟嘅功能啦、細胞核嘅功能啦，同埋內質網嘅功能嘅。咁呢個內質網係乜嘢嘅內質網呢？陣間我哋都會講嘅。胰臟有咩功能？幫我哋消化同埋去釋放荷爾蒙。咁呢個過往我哋都學過噶啦，釋放胰液啦 （pancreatic juice）。咁胰液入面有唔同類型嘅 m s i 去幫我哋做消化嘅。而去分泌呢個荷蒙沙，最基本就係 insulin 啦、glucagon 啦，呢個胰島素同埋高糖素，你係學過噶嘛？跟住啦，細胞核嘅功能啦，係控制細胞嘅活動啦，同埋儲存遺傳物質啦。咁當然啦，對於胰臟細胞嘅特定功能，咁細胞核我哋就唔能夠淨係講佢儲存遺傳物質，應該係講下控制細胞功能啦。咁但係點樣控制呢？佢個細胞有咩功能呢？啱啱上面都講咗嘅。咁內質網啦 ，E R 又有咩用呢？剛剛我哋都講到啦，胰臟係會分泌消化酶同埋激素荷爾蒙嘅。所以 structure A 呢，我哋要去理解嘅話，應該係一個粗糙嘅內質網，係 rough E R。咁所以啦，佢係提供一個表面面積去製造蛋白質。有咗呢個概念之後呢，我哋就落返去究竟條題目仲考緊我哋啲乜嘢啦。就係、是、transcription 同埋 translation 啦，咪喺分子遺傳學嗰課都學過啦。喺個 nucleus 入面嘅 DNA 或者我哋所講嘅某一段嘅 DNA， 即係基因啦，就會去指揮咗我哋嘅蛋白質嘅生成嘅，而當中牽涉咗兩個過程啦，就係、是、轉錄同埋轉譯啦。咁所以啦，最重要嘅 concept 就係講緊。究竟 A 同 B 佢哋有咩嘅功能性关系？亦即系话你系唔能够净系讲 A 做乜嘢句号，然后 B 做乜嘢句号，你要讲翻佢哋点样分工合作，点样有一个功能性嘅关系。所以 Part C 呢个作答应假咧
，你就先要去讲一讲 transcription 系喺个細胞核入面去发生。而轉譯就喺個 rough e r 去發生，當中牽涉咗嘅樣板同埋嘅產物究竟係啲乜嘢呢？有冇一個扣連喺中間呢？原來啦，喺個 transcription 我哋需要嘅樣板就係 DNA， 製造出嚟嘅就係順時 RNA、mRNA。而 translation 轉譯呢，我哋需要嘅樣板就係 mRNA， 而製造出嚟嘅就係 protein。所以你會發現啦，之間嘅扣連呢。就係、是、mRNA 啦，所以你你 update 出呢，就係、是、structure B 細胞核就係有遺傳物質，而呢啲遺傳物質就係指揮住我哋製造荷爾蒙或者酶嘅，咁即係蛋白質嚟㗎喎。啊，咁蛋白質點搞啊？哦，首先呢，喺個細胞核就會進行 transcription 轉錄，從而製造 mRNA， 然後再將 mRNA 經過呢個 nuclear membrane 嘅 pores， 頭先我啱啱先講過有個窿窿㗎嘛。就出咗去 cytoplasm， 边度先得噶？哦，去咗 rough e r structure A 嗰树，就攞去做转译嘅动作啦，就系、是、protein synthesis， 从而啦就制造咗由蛋白质所造成嘅荷尔蒙啦，同埋啦由蛋白质所造成嘅消化酶啦，咁从而啦就可以释放到出嚟啦，或者分泌到出嚟啦。咁其实二零一六年呢。就系、是、问同一样嘅嘢啦，正正就系问翻你喺个叶绿体入面嘅类囊体膜同埋基质，究竟佢哋嘅功能性关系，好似就只系将 functional relationship 变咗做 work together 啫嘛。所以你会发现咧，虽然议题系无限啊，但系题型系有限噶。一六年就问你功能性关系，一七年就问你佢哋两者点样合作，咪问紧同一样嘢有分别咩？好，又嚟到一点出发啦。今次嘅题目呢，就细胞做起点，问我哋两样嘢啦，就係、是、结构同埋细胞周期。结构呢，讲到口臭㗎啦，有结构就有功能，有功能就有适应性特征。粒线体同埋粗糙内质网，佢哋有咩适应性特征，去令佢哋去做呢个功能嘅时候做得更加好呢？嗱，唔係淨係做到，喎，係做得更加好。喎。而對於細胞周期啦，對於間期、前期、中期、後期、末期同埋包質分裂，你分得清楚未呢？喺每一個周期，我哋要去觀察遺傳物質嘅時候，幾時會見到染色質、染色單體同埋染色體呢？喺個後期嘅時候，究竟我哋係分開咗染色單體啊，定係分開咗一個同源染色體呢？而去到后尾啦，就讲返遗传物质同蛋白质嘅合成呢，都有关系㗎喎，就係、是、转录同埋转译啦。呢一 part 你又溫晒未呢？咁过往啦，其实都有好多有关于細胞啊、細胞分裂啊、遗传物质啊、transcription、translation 啊嗰、那个概念嘅，所以过往呢，好多解题嘅片呢，係帮你哋溫书嘅。Go one seven question four is about Human cells, so you can see this electron micrograph shows some structures of the human cell, structure A and structure B. No matter they ask the part A or not, as what I always mention, we need to have the good practice for the labeling. So you can see that even they do not ask you the name, they ask you the functions of the organelles, those subcellular structure. So for part A, label structure A and B. So it's checking our concept about the structures. We need to identify them by their size, shape, and their location. Structure A, it is a network of interconnected membrane-bound sacs. It is continuous with outer nuclear membrane and extend through the cytoplasm. Structure B, it is a spherical structure bounded by a double membrane, which is the nuclear membrane. So for the structure A, it is the endoplasmic reticulum. Structure B, it is the nucleus. At this moment, for this diagram, we, we do not observe the small dots, the ribosomes on the structure A. So that's why we cannot say it is the rough ER directly, but it must be the endoplasmic reticulum. In this electron micrograph, I would like to mention they are porous on the nuclear membrane, which allows certain substance to pass through. So any example, it is the messenger RNA. So they can pass through from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. And it is the knowledge we learned from the molecular genetics chapter. And any question variation, just from asking the structures A and B, we can ask you structure C and D. So structure C, it is one single mitochondrion. Remember, it is the singular form. 
Then for structure D, it is a genetic material. This question it doesn't ask you, but it checks you this concept in question B. Yeah, Isam say, but it yeah, Isam. Although it doesn't ask you the name of structure D, but it check the yeah, Isam say. Although it doesn't ask you the name of structure D, it checks this concept in part B. Which stage of the cell cycle is shown in this photo micrograph? Give a reason to support your answer. The concept checking is that you need to recognize the state of the genetic material in this stage. So we can see that in this stage, the chromosomes are not visible. Therefore, the stage it should be interface because DNA is in the format of chromatin, or you can say that the chromosomes are invisible. And for part C, the cell was obtained from the pancreas. How do structure A and B work together? Cooperate, labor division, and then these cells can perform its function. So for this concept, it's checking three. Let me say. So in this question, it's checking three basic concepts: the functions of pancreas, the function of nucleus, and the function of the endoplasmic reticulum. First of all, pancreas. It is responsible for digestion and secretion of hormone such as insulin and glucagon. And for the digestion, surely you need to recall the concept of pancreatic juice, right? And then for the function of nucleus, controls the cellular activities, store the genetic material. In this question, it doesn't ask a random organ. It asks about the pancreas. So we cannot just say that all、oh, the nucleus store the genetic materials. So we need to talk about the cellular activities in the answer. Finally, we call the function of the endoplasmic reticulum. So based on the role of the pancreas, production of the digestive enzymes and hormone. So for structure A, it should be the rough ER. To provide the surface area for protein synthesis. After we go through the basic concept, so we can go through the transcription and translation. Cause for the structure B, it is the nucleus, and for structure A, it is the rough ER for protein synthesis. So we need to recall the concepts in the molecular genetics. How can we produce a protein? So the critical concept is that we need to recall the functional relationship between A and B. Therefore, it is pointless to mention what do they do separately. Or structure B do something something full stop, and structure A do something something full stop. If you describe their function separately, you are not talking about they work together. So you need to. Describe how are they being linked together? What is the division of labor between these two structures? So for the scaffolding, we need to find the linkage between structure A and B. So we need to recall the transcription and translation concept. Transcription takes place in the nucleus, and translation takes place in the rough ER. And what's the template and the product? In these two processes, transcription and translation. In transcription, the template is DNA, and the product is the messenger RNA. And in translation, the template is messenger RNA, and the products it is the proteins. So you can see that the linkage is the messenger RNA. They are produced in the nucleus, and they will pass through the pores of the nuclear membrane. To the cytoplasm, and that's why we have the whole logic. Structure B: the nucleus carries the genetic material, which is coding for the hormone and digestive enzyme. They are the proteins. Therefore, we need to mention that the transcription takes place in the nucleus to produce the messenger RNA (mRNA), and the mRNA it will be transport to the structure A. Rough ER, rough endoplasmic reticulum, for translation or protein synthesis. Finally, we can produce the proteins, hormone, the digestive enzyme for discharge or for the secretion. And I would like to recall your memory for the two hundred one six question three, corpus collaboration. This question directly asks you what is the functional relationship between A and B. Follicular membrane and the stroma. 
you can see that it's exactly the same question type. 216, we have the keywords functional relationship. And in 2017, we have the keywords work together. The same idea, you can see it. I want to convey the message is that although there are so many topics in biology, but you can see the question type, they are highly similar or they are even the same. Talk about the curriculum mapping. This question, it starts from cells. And there are two concepts we are checking, structures and the cell cycle. For the structures, we always talk about the functions, the adaptive features, for example, the mitochondria and the rough EL, what are the adaptive features of them? How do the adaptive features help the organelles to perform their function well? We can also talk about the adaptive features of the cell to help the organs to perform the function well. So you can see these three concepts always put together. And for the cell cycle, different stages, interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and the cytokinesis. So are you familiar with them? Not only for the order, but also for the chromosome behavior. Which stage you will see the chromatin, chromatid, and the chromosome. And in the anaphase, are we separating the chromatid, or are we are separating the homologous chromosome? Are you familiar with these concepts? And for the genetic material, we also need to link this concept to the protein synthesis. Transcription and translation, are you familiar with these two processes? And there are so many questions about the cell division, genetic material, molecular genetics. Those topics, they are interdependent. They are interconnected. So when you are doing the revision, I need to remind you that do revision for different chapters together. That's the reason I do the curriculum mapping after each question to guide you to do the revision.